There is the case of a sister who happened to be a child of God, she was genuinely saved and baptized with the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues, she happened to be married with kids, this sister noticed that each time she went to work and came back home, the body temperature of each of her children was unusually high, she did not understand what was actually happening, one day, she left for work as usual, and the Holy Spirit gave her a strange message, as soon as she arrived at the bus stop, she heard the voice of the Spirit saying, daughter, go back home, initially she found it difficult to understand this instruction given to her by the Holy Spirit, however, she managed to obey and she went back home as instructed, by the time she arrived home, she observed that her three children were screaming in a very strange manner, out of curiosity she peeped through the keyhole and experienced the greatest shock of her life, she saw the housemaid sitting at the center of the living room and surrounded by her three children who were screaming, the housemaid was half human and half snake, her head was the head of the housemaid while the rest of the body was that of a serpent, the woman shouted Jesus as she opened the door, immediately the housemaid transformed herself into a human being and quickly pretended as if nothing had happened the woman was spellbound and could not conceal her shock, and said, young girl, so you are a serpent, to the amazement of the Christian sister, the housemaid impudently replied, madame, with all the Bible you carry about and your commitment in the church, you mean you never knew I was a serpent? Who killed your husband? The sister could not believe her ears, my take, one, I pray for someone reading this post, may your spiritual eyes be open in Jesus name too every agent of darkness staying with you shall be exposed by the fire of God in the name of Jesus, 3, whoever Satan has planted in your house, church, business shall be uprooted in Jesus name, a particular young lady in her early twenties went to the office of a pastor for counseling, during the counseling session while the lady was narrating her supposed story to the pastor, he suddenly noticed he was having some strange sensations all over his body, a voice within the pastor started telling him strongly things like, tell her to undress herself, grab her breasts, slap her on the buttocks, the pastor was dazed that such thoughts could be running strongly through his mind, however, he did his best to fight those thoughts, the voice persisted and when the pastor could no longer bear it, he shouted at the top of his voice not minding the lady's presence, I rebuke you, Satan. You demon of lust loose your hold upon me. I'm not your candidate, arrows of lust and seduction being projected against me, come out by fire in the mighty name of Jesus, I arrest that unclean spirit in the name of Jesus immediately, the lady began to vibrate with shock clearly written on her face, the pastor noticed this and looked at her critically, sister, what's the matter? He asked the lady said trembling, sir, I'm surprised you could resist my power, what power? asked the pastor, the lady, I'm a marine agent, and any man of God I approach with this power must fall into sin with me, so that they can be polluted spiritually, and their ministries can be eventually destroyed she confessed, the pastor said what, the lady said, pastor, you are the fourteenth man of God I've been sent to this year, and the only one that has successfully resisted this power of seduction she confessed. Now you can imagine the shock on the face of the pastor upon hearing this confession, my take, dear young minister, it is not every cry for help from the opposite sex that is actually a cry for help in the real sense of it, if your spiritual ears are well open and trained, you will discover that some are cleverly disguised traps in waiting, you may not know this thing I'm about to say, but the fact remains that those men of God you may have heard about or knew about that fell into the sin of sexual immorality which you are boasting that you can never fall into. Did not initially have the intention of falling, some of them just got carried away in the course of trying to be of help to the people they fell into sin with, come to think of it, if a satanic agent sent from the pit of hell to bring you down and destroy your ministry comes to you, do you think they will come to you announcing, O oh man of God, I am on assignment to destroy your ministry? You will be so naive if you think that is how they will come they will simply come as someone in need of prayers, help or counseling, some may even deliberately join your church or ministry for that sole reason, this may sound crazy, but permit me to tell you that there is also what can be called sexual attraction towards the anointing, 
There are ladies even though there may be very few in the church that have sexual fantasy towards their pastors, there are ladies that would not mind bedding their pastors, this is why as a young minister of God, you must be very careful and sensitive in your dealings with members of the opposite gender, though I am not disputing the fact that there are men of God that are actually the randy type that deliberately take advantage of vulnerable women and ladies in the church, there are ministers that can go after anything in skirts. I'm not disputing that, however, I'm stressing the fact that there are sad cases of genuine men of God who fell due to carelessness, nonchalance, and lack of discernment, this is why discernment and spiritual sensitivity is a must in matters that involve members of the opposite gender, there may be a need for you to set certain boundaries for your own safety when relating, counseling, or praying for women. This is also why I'm always not in a hurry to ask for the heads of men of God who experience moral failure, some of these fallen soldiers need love and restoration while there are some that God simply exposed their hypocrisy, women can be very wonderful and they can be God's greatest gift to any church or ministry, but you know the devil also has the habit of counterfeiting whatever God is doing, so, if God is using women, the devil is also using women. May God grant all our ministers sharp discernment.